So guys, this is an extremely budget-friendly TV from a brand called KUKA. It's actually one of Southeast Asia's number one smart TV brand. And this is a 43-inch Full HD TV from their Kolita series. It's a showcase video, so let's get started. Up front, the design, it looks quite good. It's actually relatively bezel-less, as you can see right here. Very slim TV with an incredibly lightweight. Now, the TV was quite easy to unpack yourself and quickly assemble. You get these stands included in the box, which takes about two minutes to screw in yourself, and that's pretty much about it. You also get some manual documentation, the power cable, obviously, along with this really small and convenient remote that ships with two AAA batteries. Quick discussion on the remote, so it's nice and small, it has these buttons for super quick access to YouTube, Prime Video and the internet browser. However, the remote works specifically when you point it at the TV only. So the build is entirely plastic, which makes it very lightweight and easy to move around. Uh, the stands that you get in the box, it gives it good stability. And these stands actually give it a good enough height that you can easily place a soundbar and your view will not be obstructed. Uh, at the back, you can see it already has the options to be easily mounted on the wall using standard brackets. Now at the back, you get a couple of connectivity options. You get two HDMI ports, AV ports, an ethernet port to connect to high-speed internet, a headphone jack or a speaker out to connect to external speakers, antenna in and a USB port to stick in pen drives. But let's talk more about the experience of using this TV. So as soon as you turn it on, you treat it with their water flow interface design, which is pretty familiar to what you may have experienced with Android TVs. Actually, it's KUKA's own OS called Kulita, and it supports a bunch of apps right here, such as YouTube, Prime Video, Z5, Sony Live, and so many more that you see right here. You can easily even just cast from your iPhone or an Android phone onto this TV. As long as both devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, you could just hit on this icon while a video plays and tap on the TV. That's it, it starts casting. And obviously this gives you the flexibility of controlling the playback from your phone rather than the remote itself, which is actually more convenient. There's even a way to simply duplicate your phone's screen on this TV or even your laptop display wirelessly. And now coming to the picture and the audio quality. So you get two 15 watt speakers that support Dolby Atmos. And hey, you do get a couple of sound profiles to choose from like standard, soccer, movie, music, and a custom profile that you can set for yourself. But you know, they sound quite nice and room filling, especially at this price point, that was unexpected. But if you've got a room that's larger than 80 or 100 square feet, you're probably better off getting a soundbar for yourself. Now, the vocals are pretty clear on this TV. That's because it does have high treble. However, because these TVs are getting so thin, all of them kind of lack bass. And so if you're someone who enjoys, you know, watching movies or enjoy that bass, I do recommend that you get a soundbar. All right, now let's talk about the picture quality. But before that, I just want to mention the borderless design again. The screen to body ratio is amazing. I mean, the edge width is only two millimeters and that really makes this design just feel so bezel-less. So that content, it looks really good, which is like almost edge to edge on this TV. And coming to the picture quality itself, it's decent given the price. It's full HD with good enough brightness and sharpness given the price segment. It uses something called the Troculus Extreme Image Engine to enhance image quality, give more color depth and good dynamic range. I watched a couple of movies and TV shows on this and they looked fine. I tried switching between various picture modes and found Vivid to be one of the best looking picture modes to go for followed by cinema. Also, the S3U Pro has a dimming mode that protects your eyes in case of any harmful flashes that can happen on the TV. Though I would say this, given that this is a budget range TV, you may find it a bit difficult to view in very brightly lit rooms. Now sure, you can try to increase the brightness on this thing, but that doesn't help because it does wash out the image quite a bit. So I would really recommend sticking with vivid or cinema mode and keep it in a slightly dimmer room with not too many uh, windows or too much brightness in the room. That would be the ideal condition to use this TV in. And so yeah, that's pretty much it guys about this TV. See, it's not about the extreme features or the extreme viewing experience. It's more to do with being able to enjoy a 43 inch large screen at a really affordable price. Because if you go to the market, you're gonna find 43 inch TVs at a much higher price point, especially smart TVs. But yeah, you do get a couple of streaming apps, the ability to cast your phone, uh, as well as your laptop, a couple of sound and image modes. And so I think all of that put together in a really big screen TV at this price point is pretty good. But then if you do want to enjoy more apps, then you can explore the Z and the Vice series TV from the same brand uh, that does run on Android. 
All right, that's pretty much it, guys. You'll find the link uh, for the TV in the description below. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon. And mark all. I'll see you guys in the next one.